Hello YouTube. So I'm trying something a little bit different today. As you can see, I'm not in my typical dungeon studio and there was no jingle. That's because this isn't really a spiders in your house video. Uh, I thought I'd try this out and see what you guys think of this style of video. Just kind of a quick one about an interesting encounter that I had. This is really more of a story. Um, and let me know what you think. So, wait till this wind dies down. I was out here with my wife the other day and we were figuring out what we were going to do with these garden planters when I came across this little guy and I found him just kind of along here and I knew right away that it was a jumping spider but I didn't recognize it. It didn't look like one that I'd seen before. So rather than capture it, I ran inside and I grabbed my camera and I snapped a few photos of it hoping to ID it later. Now, it looked to me like it was some kind of Habronatus. I wasn't positive, and I also couldn't tell exactly what species it was. So I took some photos, and then when we were done what we were doing, I went inside, went to the book, and tried to figure it out. But it looked like one that maybe wasn't in the book. Now, I do have Habronatus spiders on my property. I've got Habronatus decorus, and that one I knew about. I'd identified that, and I've seen those around but this was kind of a new one. So I sent the photos to Sean McCann, who in turn sent them to Wayne Madison. And both of these guys are kind of rock stars in the Canadian arachnological community. Came back that this is most likely Habronatus viridipes. And that sort of came as a surprise to Sean, because as far as he knew, that species had never actually been recorded in Nova Scotia before. So this was kind of neat. Now, that doesn't mean that I'm the first one to ever see it in Nova Scotia. Just if we can verify the ID, then this would be the first official record of this spider in Nova Scotia. So I threw it up on iNaturalist and it's there pending ID verification right now. Now these Habronatus, the whole genus, the Habronatus genus is known as the paradise jumping spiders. They're really cool. They're called the paradise jumping spiders because they tend to be quite colorful and they have really elaborate courtship displays. So that's kind of where that name comes from. Um, they're harmless to you. They're great to have around. They'll hop on you and they're very curious spiders. And of course they'll eat the bugs in your yard and keep down the bugs in your garden. So wonderful spiders to have around and super entertaining. So I don't have a lot of in-depth research on these or anything for you today. Uh, I just thought this was kind of a cool encounter. I know a lot of you have been waiting for a jumping spider video and I am going to get there and do an in-depth one at some point. I haven't figured out exactly how I'm going to do that because there are so many different kinds of jumping spiders that you can't really narrow it down to one species. But I also don't want to just talk about them generally. So I'll figure that out. I do have several other jumping spiders on the property that I see regularly. I see Salticus senecus, the zebra jumper. I see Platycryptus indatus, the tan jumper, uh, and the Habernatus decorus that I see out front. I see those fairly regularly, but this one was a new one. So cases like this are a great reason to get involved with something like iNaturalist. Uh, you never really know what you're gonna find. And scientists do look at that data. Uh, if you can get it to research grade and get the ID confirmed, then that data does become a part of the record and it does help us see where certain species are occurring and how often and with what other species. There's all kinds of stuff that they can pull from that data. So try it. Grab your camera, grab your smartphone, grab whatever you've got and get out there and make your own observations and put them up there. It's a great community. There's lots of wonderful people on there. Uh, bugguide.net is another one that's great to take part in. All of this contributes to our knowledge of this stuff. And this was actually my first observation that I posted on iNaturalist, so I'm kind of new to it too. I've been browsing iNaturalist for a long time, but this was the first one I ever actually put up there. So maybe we'll see you there. Let me know in the comments what you guys think of this style of video, just kind of a brief story of an encounter. If you guys like this kind of thing, I can do more of them and I'd be happy to. This could be kind of a sub-series to the Spiders in Your House series. Need to think up kind of a name for that. If you guys have ideas, throw them at me in the comments. I look forward to hearing what you guys think of this style of video, and I hope that this encourages you to go out and make some of your own observations, and I hope to see you next time. Cheers.
It's one in the afternoon. This is coffee. 